Hey, what's up, guys? Zane here, and I was just gonna do a little commentary about um my thoughts on E3. You know, I'm not doing anything today, so I was a little bored. So I might as well just hop on the mic and say some stuff. So, <laughs> uh, first off, I thought E3 was kind of was kind of good. <coughs> oh, voice crack. Uh, it's a lot better than previous years, that's for sure. Um, a lot of games or whatever that they announced that like really interest me and I was extremely excited when they actually announced them like when they brought out Star Wars Battlefront in the uh, EA press conference I swear <laughs> I never thought they was gonna bring that game back out but they finally did which is good because a lot of people have been asking for it and it shows that they're actually like paying attention to what people <coughs> Jesus fuck my keep cracking <laughs> excuse me but it, like, it shows that they actually care about um, the consumer or whatever. Even though EA is the worst company in, the, in America. But that's besides the point. And um, well, this gameplay is really old, by the way. It's like almost a year old, so not recent. Don't just disregard it. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, they also showed Mirror's Edge 2, which is probably like super high on my wish list as far as cans that are coming out but they didn't give like a release date they just said that it comes out when it's ready and i'm just like you guys are a bunch of dicks why the heck would y'all do that but i guess it'll come out sooner or later and um kingdom hearts 3 i really like don't know when that's coming out because they didn't give a <coughs> release date or whatever and um titanfall uh, Destiny, Destiny, I almost forgot about that one, that's a really good cool one. It's made by people like, that made, uh, that made Bungie, that made Halo, and I, I mean, it's, like, it looks promising, but, I mean, it looks like Halo, kind of, but not really, I don't know if that makes sense, but, because, <laughs> like, a lot of the mechanics and, like, how they threw grenades or the weapons they used look just like it came from Halo Reach. Which was the last Halo game that they did. So obviously there's some influence right there. And uh, let's see what other games. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, but um, uh, the crew, the crew. I think, I think that's what. <laughs> I don't know why my voice is all jittery today. I'm not used to doing commentaries, as you can tell. But, <clears throat> but yeah, the crew. It's like the open world racing game pretty much drive throughout the entire United States of America and like you can drop in and out with your friends or whatever to do different missions and stuff and I thought that was pretty interesting because <clears throat> the way they did with like Test Drive Unlimited back in the day it was like pretty much you could drive anywhere within Honolulu or Hawaii Hawaii or whatever and now you can do it pretty much on the entire United States which is pretty crazy and um I also like the division, like the graphics were like insane about that game. Like I can't wait for that to come out. And uh, some of the stuff that like didn't really interest me, but, like I could not stand when I was watching like the press conferences or whatever. It was like Ubisoft's um Aisha Tyler or whatever her name is. It's just like why do you have to make the only black um host or whatever have to act like that? Like she like she's like special needs or and like at the end she got like super ghetto i'm just like why are you giving us a bad name <laughs> like especially with like a bunch of gamers like sitting around inside the um the auditorium or whatever like they're not really into that whole ghetto stuff or whatever like i don't, I don't know but i just thought that they should have kept her at home somewhere because she did a terrible job at least in my opinion and she thought everything was fun. And it's like, it's like, oh, that looks fun. Oh, this looks fun. I can't wait to play that. I mean, I know she works for Ubisoft, but still, you want to say everything is fun because I guarantee you that is not. And uh, also, NBA Live. Like, <laughs> the reason why they stopped making that game is because people did not like how the characters looked or the players or whatever. They haven't changed anything. The players still look. Plastic, like, like plastic mannequins or crack babies like their faces or all I don't, they don't they don't look real like and that's the whole point of playing like a sports game like that like NBA 2k 
the players actually look real. They don't. <sighs> like, it just pisses me off. They still haven't changed anything about that. And um, also, I didn't really like the stuff that Nintendo was bringing out. Like, I mean, I know what you would call it. You have Smash Bros. and Mario Kart or whatever, but it's the same game. It's like, why is Nintendo never bringing us anything new? Like, they just drop the same freaking games every single time every single year and I'm just like I mean I guess sure they're fun but you play for about a month and you're like okay I've been there done that and I mean Pokemon X and Y I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna get that but <clears throat> haven't played Pokemon in a while <laughs> um but yeah those those are the things that really interest me and uninterest me whatever and I just thought it was funny <laughs> I'm pretty sure you guys already know all about this, but like the whole Microsoft getting absolutely dumped on by Sony when Sony announced that they were supporting used games and all that, like no online and all that or whatever. I mean, because that's huge. Like, <laughs> how many times can you like go through all the the lists of stuff that Microsoft requires you to have in order to play their games? and like not get pissed off because like nobody wants to do it like <laughs> i'm just trying to hard to explain but just like you as a consumer you don't want to have restrictions on the products in which you buy because you pay for it with your own money you should be able to do with whatever you want with it since i mean you pay for it it's yours it's like if i went out bought a 32 inch tv it's my tv like you know what i'm saying like i know that's a stupid analogy but still and like I swear like once I saw that slide pop up I felt you know some tears stream down my cheeks or whatever manly tears though <laughs> but like cause they did the right thing like they care about the game or whatever I can go to a store buy a PS4 game play it give it to like 20 people they can play it whatever they want and it's no problem like that's how it should be and that's how it should always be but somehow Microsoft just doesn't seem to understand that and I mean yeah sure people are like oh it's the end of Microsoft oh, they're, they're dead I mean they're not gonna go down that easy like come on let's be real I mean sure the Xbox One is kind of eh <laughs> but people are still gonna buy it just because you know they're familiar with the 360 and they're gonna go pick it up just because of that reason so we'll see how things go, you know. <laughs> I mean, I'm probably gonna get a PS4. I mean, I don't know when it comes out. I mean, I assume it's gonna come out later this year, but we'll see. And plus, like, they also have some pretty interesting games that are gonna be at launch, like Killzone Shadowfall. Like, I mean, I've never really played Killzone, but it looks pretty interesting, so I might pick that up. Uh, let's see. What am I supposed to have? Nothing, nothing else in particular. But yeah, I just thought that the whole Sony coming out and giving a big middle finger to Microsoft was, <laughs> was pretty, was probably like the highlight of E3 like by far. Because, oh, and did you guys hear about um, Don Matrick, the um, head of Microsoft Studios or whatever he is? He was like, his response to the whole Sony thing was like if you want a console that's offline buy a 360 like who the hell doesn't have a 360 by now I mean I don't because I'm a PC gamer but still why would I want to buy a 360 when the next generation is coming up like how stupid can you be like, you complete dick for saying something like that like that just goes to show that he could care less about you know everyday consumers but this video is almost over um I'm probably gonna do more commentaries if you guys enjoy this so let me know and uh yeah i'm zane my e3 thoughts peace